F-16s, we don't have a lot of gas. Uh, there are very few scenarios where we would take off on a combat sortie without an air-to-air -air refueling option, execute a combat mission and, and come back. It's, it's rare. In every scenario, it is imperative that we have tankers. We can't get to the fight and we can't sustain the fight and maintain persistent overhead support to friendly forces, and that's in every AOR. In the future fight that we might have to face, uh, adversaries have more and more capability to push us farther away in terms of where we base our aircraft. It just makes it more critical that we have the reach that air-to-air -air refueling provides uh, to us. It gets us to the fight and we couldn't do it without that support. We're integrating with the tankers in tactical scenarios. We execute suppression of enemy air defense missions, counter air missions all the time. We train to it. It's what we're tasked to do if we get deployed in combat. It's one of the things we're supposed to be really good at. What we don't get an opportunity to do, typically, is integrate with other high-value airborne assets. This has given us an opportunity to integrate in the air, bring them into the tactical scenario to where we are all fighting the same adversary and we have some contracts and uh, contingencies that we can work where they actually participate as more than just the tanker that's 100 miles away. They're actually having to defend and, and execute some of these contracts. Actually having the unit and all the air crew and the maintenance personnel and all the personnel from MacDill on the ground, uh, that's really what has made this a special experience and, and something that's enhanced our lethality uh, as well as uh, our combined capability for all the air crew. It's been really cool to see that happen.